It's a long way from Louisiana to Manawatu, which is why Craig Perks hasn't driven through the gates of his home club in 15 years. It's always good to come home. You know, obviously, uh, this is a new sign that I haven't seen. In fact, Perksy hasn't been back in Palmy since he wrote his name into golfing folklore with a furious finish to win the 2002 Players' Championship. This was the homecoming of a hero to tee it up in the Lawnmaster Classic. A blustery day here at Hokuit. Oh, it feels great, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's been since I've played here at Manor 2, at least 15 years. I don't even think I've been back since I won. You know, this is where I grew up playing, so great to be a part of this Lawnmaster Classic. Just see what we can do in this uh, shootout. I've been gone since 85. I do remember coming, taking a lot of time off school and coming and sneaking in the back over there at 17. That's the, that's the fondest memories I had of going there and just grinding and practicing and loving, you know, having that passion and enthusiasm for the game. Uh, this is kind of where I molded myself and had the aspirations to turn pro and it, it really all started right here. We get a little bit of recognition coming in the gate. You know, this is an incredible club. Grant and I have won, so what an accomplishment it would be if Tim was able to win eventually on the tour and have three guys from this small club here in a small town in Palmerston, North New Zealand, to, to win on tour. Perk spent 14 years carving out a career as a professional, but as the memories of the Players' Championship faded, he knew it was time to call it a day on the PGA Tour. My game was in a shambles, and my exemption for winning the Players' Championship had expired. And I didn't want to chase it. I had uh, exhausted every avenue of trying to improve, and it, it, it had become extremely frustrating. Um, I'd given it everything I possibly could. I just didn't want to be one of those guys that continued to chase it and struggle and struggle, and I'd had enough of the travel. And I, I just felt like I was in a good position in my life that I could move on and do something else. And that something else is broadcasting. Perks lives in Lafayette, where he has, since attending college 26 years ago. He lends his expertise to Golf Channel's commentary team, and along with Frank Nobolo and Phil Tatarangi, he isn't the only Kiwi accent on air. We have an accent which gives us a little bit of, of an advantage, but I believe that we're knowledgeable, we're insightful. But I will say that, that Frank Nobolo is one of the best in the business. What people don't realise is how hard Frank has worked to get in the position he has. He's one of the best at the Golf Channel. Frank helped me early in my broadcasting career, so I've tackled it the same way I did when I played professionally. I tried to outwork everyone, be as prepared as I possibly could, and then just when, you, when the red light goes on on the camera and you're live, you just react to what you see. But I think from all indications, the network executives really appreciate the work that we put in because they can tell, and I think the, the accent helps a little bit. As both a PGA Tour winner and lead analyst, Perks is in the perfect position to gauge the impact of New Zealand's latest golf champion, Lydia Ko. There are transcendent athletes, you know, the Tiger Woods, potentially, and Roger Federer, and Wayne Gretzky, and Michael Jordan. Lydia could be something along those lines where she transcends the game for the females. What she's accomplished, it's remarkable. And, and to do it at that age, I don't think we'll truly appreciate what she will accomplish until, you know, maybe five or 10 years where she might have won multiple majors, you know, 10 or 20 LPGA Tour events. It's great to know that she came from this little small country. And it's on this rare homecoming to Palmerston North that Perks is reminded of what he misses most about New Zealand. I'm a big fan of Manuka honey. So uh, we, mum sends it, sends it over to us. To be honest with you, I miss the, the pace of this country, the beauty of this country. You know, you can't beat a good pie and a little bit of uh, manuka honey always helps.